Now, I want to ask you what might be an embarrassing question. A little while ago, you appeared in a two-page spread in Life magazine in a bikini, and you're amply proportioned to fill any bikini. Is that an absolute necessity for a young actress to pose in a bathing suit to get recognition? Well, I think that it is. If you're attractive and if you have a good figure, I think that uh, you're foolish not to use this vehicle to a certain extent. I don't think you need to go all the way, you know, overboard with a thing and... and uh, Say no more. Say no more. This is Raquel Welch. Raquel 39, 22, 33, Welch. What does she have that makes all the others look average? Let's check the inventory. You like the layout? Raquel Welch as Maria. From here to south. Is it Territorio Bandolero? Raquel Welch is Jugs. Stop calling me Jugs. A girl with tremendous ambitions. Raquel Welch abandons everything in sin. Tonight we have an internationally acclaimed actress, singer, dancer, and one of the sexiest ladies alive. You got that every night, frog. You, you do give the impression of being at least uh, nine feet tall on the screen. I don't know, maybe partly that poster from, was it One yeah, Million One B.C.? One Million Years B.C., to the right. Yeah, you looked like uh, you, were as, you, were, you were the same size as the yeah. mountains in the background. Yeah, so just I a giant... Uh... <laughs> oh, come on, you can't... I was it, surprised it, it... you didn't introduce me as Raquel Welch and here they come. That's usually what I <laughs> I tell you, um, Raquel, I'll open the envelope and you read the winner, all right? My eyes are busy. <laughs> I don't have to tell you people times are tough. You read the papers. The country's going to hell. We're demanding free 24-hour child care centers, free abortion clinics. People think anyone who's a sex symbol automatically has to be dumb. But I don't care about yeah. proving anything. Hey, guys! If nobody likes me, there's nothing I can do about it. I did go to Vietnam and entertain the troops. Was that an anti-Jane Fonda thing? No, it wasn't. I didn't think Could that. Could I start Jane. a fight between you two? <laughs> Men. Run, Raquel. Run fast. Because they're all out to get you. Well, shall I scream rape now or wait and phone in a complaint? Part two of the revolution is woman's control of her own body. When, when Claire said she has control over her own body, a beautiful smile spread across Raquel's face. What were you thinking about? Oh, stop. No, I, 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 was, I was just thinking, I don't think we have control over our own bodies. We have control over maybe childbirth to a certain degree, but I don't think we have control over our bodies. We're less free. Why are you less free? Because... Because now we have... It, it, what is it? It's something that when you become... When you become free, somehow, then your brain has to... Or your, your, your feelings of propriety have to govern you. You have to have the self-control. You can't look to sex to be the answer, the escape from everything, the, the way to express everything, because it isn't. The people look, are looking to it as that, and I think becoming disappointed, because it's not the only way to express yourself creatively, not the only way to express your emo emotions. Certainly a beautiful way, but you take out procreation, and it presents a huge problem. What now? What are those things in your mind that you really you're really expressing and really releasing when you're going through this thing without any care because you don't there's no hang-up now you don't have to have the baby you don't have to worry so why are you doing that do you think that's true Claire is do you think women are freer than Raquel says or do you think that they've got new problems to re replace the old I ones they're really new problems that are more complex than the old ones. I'm sorry 